What's up, everyone? My name is Sophia bauer Wasteboard, and I serve as the coordinator for program and curriculum design. I'm excited to be here with you all today to talk about a new program that just launched, the QBasic First Impact Program. Today, I'll be sharing information about what the program is, how it came to be, how you can get involved, how you can apply, the launch of the program, and all of that information. Before we get started, I want to make sure you're following us on all social platforms. So on Instagram and Twitter at MD Made Terps and on LinkedIn, Maryland Made Terps. Information about Maryland Made programming is always shared here, but especially for the Q Basic First Impact program, information about the application process, the launch of the program will all be shared here. So make sure you're following us on these platforms. I wanna start off by sharing the vision and mission of Maryland Made. It's important for me to start with this because the QBasic First Impact Program perfectly aligns with the mission and vision of Maryland Made, but also really came from the language that we use in the mission and vision. The vision of Maryland Made is to empower student athletes to become leaders, develop professional competencies, and be conscientious advocates. Those who participate in the QBasic First Impact Program, and I'll get to that later, will really learn leadership skills, professional development skills, and learn how to be an advocate, not only for themselves, but the communities that they will be in. The mission of Maryland Made is to create a holistic experience for student athletes to develop personally and professionally to build that foundation for a successful life after sport. The QBasic First Impact Program does exactly that. There'll be opportunities to grow personally and professionally and have the opportunity to really understand what their life looks like while they're here at Maryland and even the time after. I want to give a shout out to the amazing staff that I get to work with every day that makes all of this possible, who are also here to be advocates for you, to help you on your career journey. So we have Risa, Assistant AD for Student Athlete Development, Tim, Program Director for Student Athlete Career Development, myself, Walt, the Big Ten Diversity Fellow, and Sydney, the Community Engagement Intern. I also want to share the um, guiding principles and pillars of Maryland Made. They are career readiness, leadership education, identity development, ownership, collaboration, and access, equity, and justice. The QBasic First Impact Program incorporates all six of these. So you'll see as I talk later about the different components of the program, what students will get out of the program involves all of these things. We're gonna help students be career ready. We're gonna provide leadership education. We're gonna assist students in exploring their identity and developing what that looks like, taking ownership of their journey and their experience, collaborating not only with their peers, but throughout campus, and also focusing heavily on access, equity, and justice, and what that looks like in their own lives and their own professional journey and their own personal journey as well. It's important for me to also share the Maryland Made brand. This is a brand that is um, recognized locally, nationally, globally, um, presented at a few different national presentations, regional presentations, been invited to be facilitators and speakers at a variety of conferences, and do a lot of informational interviews with other universities, with other campuses, sharing the amazing work that's happening here at Maryland Made. And the QBasic First Impact Program is gonna be just like this. Um, this will be a program that you won't really find anywhere else. And so it's an opportunity to be involved in something that is part of a really strong brand through Maryland Made and will help student athletes build their own brand as well. So to dive into a little bit about what Maryland Made programming entails and how the QBasic First Impact Program fits into all of these, I wanna start off with um, leadership education. So what this looks like for Maryland Made we have the Maryland Maine Leadership Academy, which is starting here in a few weeks. Um, it's an opportunity for student athletes to spend a few weeks in the spring semester to learn different leadership skills, leadership education. We also have a few different student leadership groups, the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, Pre-Health Terps, Worldwide Terps, and Sport Management Terps. These are all groups that student athletes can be part of um, to really help them during their time here at Maryland as well. Um, our Student Athlete Advisory Committee is a great opportunity for students athletes to be involved, to have their voice um, heard through the administration, to create change, to advocate for different things that they want to see done. And the other groups, pre-health TERPS is an opportunity for student athletes who are interested in the pre-health field to be involved. Worldwide TERPS is for international student athletes and sport management TERPS is for any student athlete interested in going into the sport management field. Then our next area is identity development. This is basically where the Key Basic First Impact Program falls, but I wanna talk about a few other identity development programs that we have. 
The Gossett Transition Program is a mandatory program for first year students and transfers. Um, it happens throughout their year and there's different topics that occur every month to really help them with that transition to being at the University of Maryland. We also have the Maryland Made Mentor Program, which is an opportunity for student athletes to get connected with either an alumni or somebody else who might be in their career field of interest. And it's an opportunity for them to really have a relationship with someone who can give them advice, guide them along their career journey, help them explore different options and opportunities. And the mentor program is actually a huge part of the Key Basic First Impact Program as well. And you'll hear about that later. Another identity development um, program that we have is the Maryland Made Podcast. So as you all may know, you might follow and listen to this podcast. The podcast provides timely, relevant, and practical information to help student athletes, you know, become those leaders, develop those competencies, become advocates. You can get it wherever you listen to your podcasts. Um, season three just started, and we'll be doing an episode about the QBasic First Impact Program. So make sure you turn in for that, tune in for that. And guests on the podcast have included employers, staff, student athletes, alumni, et cetera. So make sure you tune in and listen. It's a great opportunity to learn more as we've really embraced this opportunity to do a hybrid education model. So we can have the podcast, you can listen to it, you know, on your way to class, um, when you're just taking a break, on your way to practice, whatever that looks like for you. And we also have our Share the Shell program, which is our community engagement program. So really the goals of this is to leave an impact on local, national, and global levels and provide resources and programs to uplift our community. The pillars of this are civic engagement, health and wellness, and education. And you'll hear later as I talk about more of the program details for QBasic First Impact program, there will be a community engagement component to this program. Then we move into our career readiness area. So what does career readiness really mean? What does the vision of that look like? So through experiential education and in the middle exposure opportunities and dynamic work experiences, student athletes will be equipped to pursue their evolving career goals. The Key Basic First Impact Program falls in line with this as well. We're gonna be providing experiential education, exposing student athletes to a variety of different opportunities and giving them work experience to make sure that they have the opportunity to explore everything that's available to them as they're figuring out what they want to do. So what does evolving career goals really mean? We define that as really internships, full-time employment, being a professional athlete, graduate professional school, you want to backpack around the globe, that's a career goal as well. And the Key Basic Impact Program takes into account all of these evolving career goals as well to help student athletes really find like what is the best path for them, what is the best journey for them. I want to show you this path that we have created as a guide to career readiness. It's a guide um, which is really important word to use as opposed to a plan. This is not something that you have to follow to a T, but this is actually really where the Key Basic Impact Program like really came from. So if you think about phase one, that is like the initial things that you can do to get ready um, career-wise. And then phase two is really that exposure phase. So internships, growing relationships with faculty members, networking, the mentorship. And this is really where the Key Basic First Impact Program really lives, this exposure, this opportunity for students to just be exposed and learn um, about a lot of different opportunities that are available to them. Phase three is that access. So really um, attending career fairs, you know, really def um, clarifying and defining what their searches for jobs or graduate school. And then the fourth is exec execution. So you've gotten all these skills, you've gotten all these opportunities, and now you're ready to go apply it um, to be ready for whatever happens for you after Maryland. One of our signature career readiness programs is the Internship Academy. It's an eight week educational program in the summer that provides meaningful work experience. Um, those applications just closed. So Tim is working on getting that cohort, but it's a great opportunity for students to have um, work experience during the summer, um, 15 to 20 hours a week in a field of interest. And what's something really great that you'll learn about later is the QBasic First Impact Program has a natural connection with the Internship Academy. Another signature career readiness program that we have is the Gossip Fellows Program. This is a program for third and fourth year students um, that really helps those students become more self-aware and develop skills to be change agents. And the different curriculum topics that the Gossip Fellows Program focuses on is leadership development, equity and social justice, professional development, service learning, and career management. So this is an opportunity for third and fourth year students to get involved in something to help them with their career readiness. 
So now this brings me to the QBASIC First Impact Program. So now that you have an understanding of Maryland made programming, what all it entails, you'll see how this program really aligns with everything else that the Maryland made programming do, does, and it's just a further extension. So I wanna start off by saying this phrase, the sophomore slump. So some of you may identify with this, some of you may not, but sometimes sophomore year or the second year that someone um, is a student on campus can feel like this opportunity to really explore, but also can be pretty confusing. So your first year on campus, it's exciting. You're figuring things out. It's your first time in college. Um, you're really under, like trying to just learn who you are, what you're doing. Um, and then comes your second year. And we've seen that sometimes second year students require a different level of support, different level of resources to be successful this year. There's so much um, emphasis put on the first year. And then if you think about the third and fourth year experience as they're getting ready to graduate and get internships and jobs, the second years or the sophomores are here and needing more support, more access, more education, and more resources. And that's really what the Q Basic First Impact Program is designed to do, is to combat or to you know, really help second years really build this opportunity to be successful. So what is the history of this program? How did this come to be? So my position is a brand new position, the coordinator for program and curriculum design, and was really created to design and implement the QBASIC First Impact Program. So this summer, summer 22, will be the first year of the program. We'll be having our first cohort, which is really exciting. And this could not be possible without the support of the QBASIC family, who really saw a need to support second year students um, and really decided this was like an opportunity um, to create a really awesome program. Um, so as you heard, like Gossip Fellows was for third and fourth year students. So how could we, and Gossip Transition was for first year and transfer students. So how could there be an opportunity or an experience created for second year students? So the mission of this program is to really help second year student athletes understand the value of major selection through experiential education, exposure to careers, and opportunity to build career ready skills. A lot of those words you've probably already heard me say, because like I said, it aligns with Marilyn made the Maryland Maid's vision and mission and all of the other you know, pillars and guiding principles and components that exist in our other programming. So where do we start? How did we even start this program? So one thing I wanna make very clear is this program, all of the curriculum, all of the components of the program came from student athletes. So in you know, starting this program, I met with a variety of current student athletes, different years, sports, involvement in Maryland made programming, different majors, different career paths, different social identities. And I asked them, what do you wish that you had as a second year student that would have helped you? So this whole program was born from those comments, those experiences, uh, those questions, those challenges. And I also met with academic faculty members, so different athletic academic staff and academic advisors on campus and asked them, what do you see your second year students having a challenge with or facing barriers with? And how can this program solve that? Additionally, talk to a variety of professionals across different institutions who do their own second year programming and what do they do? What does that look like? What's been successful? What has worked and what hasn't? So from those conversations um, really led to creating what the program opportunities and program outcomes were going to be. So the opportunity that you can have from being involved in this program is to create a connection between your academics and career goals and build a career roadmap that can help guide you during your time here at Maryland and beyond. Students will be able to identify a major that fits with their career goals and also be matched with a mentor. So like I mentioned, the Maryland Made Mentor Program is a huge component of the Q Basic First Impact Program. So what are the outcomes you can expect from being involved in this program? You'll have an increased affinity awareness for careers. So you'll understand what careers are out there, which ones do you align with, which ones do you connect with? And then also student athletes will feel that support in that evidence-based selection of majors. So instead of just thinking, okay, I think I might be interested in this, let me just pick this major. The Q Basic First Impact Program will give students an opportunity to make an educated decision about what major they want to be in. They also will have the opportunity to build career networks through interviews, field trips, internship opportunities, and that will make them ultimately extremely successful and competitive for internal and external opportunities. So when these students are applying for internships, jobs, graduate school, this program will give them the skills and the foundation to be successful and competitive applicants. 
So who is eligible for this program or who is this program really targeting? So first of all, we're targeting first generation student athletes. So if you are someone who is the first in your family to attend college, this program is for you. This program will really break down those barriers to being having a successful experience in higher education and give you those tools and resources to feel like you can be an advocate for yourself during your time at Maryland. This program is also for students who are exploring major options in career paths or who are undeclared majors. This is an opportunity, like I said, to just get a lot of exposure to a lot of different opportunities that you can make an educated decision. If you've completed between one and three semesters, you are good to go for this program. Like I said, it's targeting second year student athletes. So if you are a current first year student, so that means you will be a second year student next year, you are eligible for this program. What are the program dates that you need to be aware of? So the first cohort meeting will be in April, 2022. That will just be an opportunity to build community with each other, get to know each other and get excited to start on this journey. And starting in June, there'll be monthly cohort meetings through the next April. It'll be a variety of virtual and in-person meetings, some that will happen at the same time or some that will happen um, different exercises and activities that will happen at different times throughout the week that you can do. And then in April, there'll be final presentations that the students who participate in the program will give, and I'll talk a little more about that later. So what's involved in the program? What are you actually going to get out of this? What are you going to spend your time doing? So student athletes who are involved in the program will have the opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one Maryland made meetings. So meeting with someone on the Maryland made staff that I mentioned earlier to really be that advocate for you, that person who really understands like what you're deciding between what you're thinking about. And like I said, all of these components came from suggestions and experiences of students, current Maryland student athletes who talked about what they wish that they had during their time. There'll be an opportunity to be an intern for a day. So there'll be intern for a day sites where student athletes can literally just be an intern for a day and figure out, is this something that I really want to do or not? We'll have the opportunity to go on some career field trips to learn about different industries, meet with different industry professionals, get out of College Park and lo look and see what else is out there. You'll really build those basic career skills. So developing a resume, LinkedIn, um, all, building a social media presence professionally, We'll also do a lot of strengths quests, which is an opportunity for students. It's an assessment that allows students to see like, what are their strengths? What do they feel good at? So we can find a major and a career that really aligns with those strengths. There also will be informational interviews. So an opportunity for student athletes to interview a variety of professionals so that they can learn, are you interested in this? Are we not interested in this? And it's in that environment to really build that network. I talked about the mentor program, but an opportunity for student athletes to be connected with a mentor, building networking and branding skills. So what does that look like to network? What does that mean? And then how can, like I said, build a social presence for yourself to really brand yourself um, so that you understand how to use these skills in your career journey. I talked about earlier community engagement and how that is one of the main components of Maryland made programming. So that will be in the QBasic First Impact program as well. There'll be an opportunity to do a service project and understand how you as an individual impact your community and how you might be able to get into a career that also helps you have that community impact. We'll talk about finances. So what that looks like to make a career decision based on finances. Um, and then finally, the program will end in a capstone project. So I mentioned there'll be presentations in April of the end at the end of the program. And that will be an opportunity for student athletes to share what they've learned um, during their time in the program. So the program will introduce a five-year game plan where student athletes can really build this five-year plan of what their time looks like while they're here at Maryland, what those first couple years out after Maryland looks like, and they'll be able to present that to their peers and really feel like they have like this you know, plan of what their life looks like. After the program, um, there's some really cool opportunities that exist for student athletes. So I mentioned the internship academy earlier on. So any program graduate who completes the QBasic First Impact program has the opportunity to have a spot in the internship academy starting summer of 2023. So student athletes, second year student athletes have spent the whole year in the QBasic program figuring out, you know, what careers they're interested in, declaring a major, and then they can get an internship in that field to help develop more experiences and more opportunities. Additionally, program graduates will receive an allocation of up to $500 to assist with professional development and education slash career success. So 
That can be if someone who does the program decides they want to go into medicine um, and they're going to apply to med school upon graduation, they could use this to help with any MCAT prep. Or if someone's looking to, you know, just go to, you know, get a master's degree in business or a master's degree in engineering or a master's degree in communication, using this to help you with the, um, take the GRE. Or if somebody, you know, needs an additional certification for a career field that they get interested in, like this um, allocation can really help with that. Program graduates will be able to use the allocation through the completion of their undergraduate degree. So this is an opportunity for second year students to really feel that support and really achieving and accomplishing their goals. So what does the application look like, process look like? I've talked about what the program entails, how it came to be. So application opens today, February 9th. Um, talk to your athletics academic counselor if you're interested in applying, let them know that you're applying. Um, and then the application will be open until March 9th. We'll review applications March 14th, and then we will let anyone know um, who, who has applied, um, you know, if they're in the program on March 28th. How do you apply? You complete the Google form and follow all the instructions. The Google form application can be found in the Maryland Made Terps Instagram bio and on Teamworks as well. It'll also be linked in any Twitter posts and LinkedIn posts as well. So that's why I started the presentation with making sure that you're following us on social platforms. I want to say that incomplete applications will not be considered. So make sure you're following all instructions on that Google form and the email that you use to fill it out must be your Terp mail email. So how can you be prepared to participate in this application process? Talk to your Maryland MADE liaison. So if you don't know who that is, just talk to any of the Maryland MADE staff members. We're happy to answer any questions about this program and give you, share any information that we can about the application process. You can also schedule an appointment to meet with us through Careers for Terps um, so that you can have a time to come talk to us about the program. There's also a component of the application that says using any method, tell us about yourself and to send that um, in an email to me. So this is an opportunity for you to really be creative. You can share it in an essay, a poem, spoken word, video, drawing, doesn't matter, you pick, but we just wanna know more about you. So that's a component of the application. So make sure you're thinking about that. And really it's broad, tell us about yourself. So whatever that looks like for you, just tell us who you are, You know why you're here, why you're interested in applying. Make sure you're watching this video on the Maryland Made YouTube channel. And then, like I said, follow us on social media. We're going to have an Instagram takeover that will be talking more about the program. There'll be a podcast episode talking more about the program. There'll be graphics and a video shared. So you'll have all the information available to you to really prepare you for the application. If you have questions, I'm here to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Um, you see my name here, my email address, my social media handle. Um, or really contact any Maryland Made staff member or send a DM to Maryland Made Terps on Instagram or Twitter. We're more than happy to talk to you about this. We want to see you get involved in this program. This is such a unique opportunity. You won't find this anywhere else. And it's really going to be so, so beneficial for any second year student to get involved in this program to really help them um, during their time here at Maryland and beyond. We're excited to read your applications. We're excited to have this program launching. It's really going to take Maryland Made programming to the next level. So thanks for listening. If you have any questions, we're here. Um, so we look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks.